5402BY127317IC
in this floating type of circuit here I have made some changes instead of connecting directly registers connected to switch to this IC I have connected this switch to this IC through this wires so that I can easily change this position the circuit is obviously same as per this circuit this is transformer this is rectifier this is capacitor this is IC317 IC317 this is pin number 2 output pin number 1 pin number 3 3 1 2 this is the formula this here we don't require here we are directly getting output this from 2 and ground this is cathode this is anode this cathode anode combination is connected to transformer then this also cathode anode combination is connected to transformer this cathode cathode combination which is giving positive supply there this positive terminal of the capacitor is connected and this is pin number 3 then in between pin number 1 and 2 R1 is connected this is pin number 1 and this is pin number 2 then from pin number 1 to ground this is variable register instead of variable registers since we want only two voltage therefore we have connected these two registers the switch center terminal is connected to pin number one and when it is in up direction this single registers only come in the circuit when it is down condition then these two here only single 330 ohm register is connected so when switch is connected in upward direction then here it is written 5 volt position is selected and when it is down means this through 330 ohms registers are connected in series so for that 9 volt 4 diode then capacitor this is IC one register then here switch with registers make sure that no two unnecessary terminals get connected now let's switch off the supply now you are getting 9.5 voltage when the switch is at bottom side so here it is written 9 volt 9.5 volt and when you shift up you are getting 5.3 volt 5.3 volt 9.5 volt 5.3 volt 9.5 hold 5.3 supply or any other supply below 37 when using this formula and selecting R2 R1 you can design your own power supply diodes are 1N 5402 silicon diode and this circuit can be used for maximum load current of 1.5 ampere 